じゃあ皆さんおはようございます。Uh, I love coming to Japan。12月は特に素晴らしいですね。あの天気がいいし、The Christmas illuminations I also love。So、uh, it's really nice。Everybody loves to come to Japan、uh, in December、uh,。This is a, another fun time of year because at the Linux Foundation, we also get to reflect on all the work that we've done in 2023.、Uh, and we've really done an amazing amount of work. All of our communities have been creating technology and technology standards uh, that uh, really impact、uh, the world and help people here in Japan make the wonderful products and services that Japan is famous for. One of the questions I always get asked about the Linux Foundation is how do you define success?、Right? The, remember, the Linux Foundation is a non profit company.、Right? So we don't measure success based on money. Um, the way that we measure our success is based on impact. Impact meaning how much does the technology that is co created at the Linux Foundation in the projects that we host impact people every day in making their lives better, providing better technology products. Providing people access to technology in countries where they may not get that,、uh, impacting climate change, and much, much more. And so today I want to talk to you about some of the impact the Linux Foundation has had on the technology industry. But before that, I want to answer a different question that I get asked all the time, which is what do foundations do? What exactly is it that the Linux Foundation does? I think it's important to understand the function of organizations like ours and how we work relative to technology companies, software developers, and government. And what I thought I would do to describe what we do is use an old internet meme to describe what the Linux Foundation actually does. So, The, the first thing is you think about what I tell my friends. This is what my friends think the Linux Foundation does. I travel all around the world. I speak at wonderful events. I have sushi for breakfast, lunch, dinner、uh, in Tokyo.、Uh, and they think I've got this great job and that that's, that's all I do all day.、Uh, my mom. Thinks that I'm saving the world. So, but my mom thinks that anything I do is really, really good. So I'm grateful to her. Uh, society thinks that we're crazy, that we create software and all of it is given away for free,、uh, and that we're sort of, you know, this crazy socialist、uh, movement. Developers think that we just <laughs> take money, <laughs> waste money, <laughs> like, take credit for their work. <laughs> Don't ask Linus about that.、Uh, I think I'm、uh, really good at what I do,、uh, but this is what the Linux Foundation actually does. We're actually kind of like the supporting cast or the janitors of open source. And what I mean by that is foundations like the Linux Foundation, they do all the things that are needed to support. Incredibly large software development efforts. J- just to be clear, the Linux Foundation employs very few software developers. Now, we happen to have a couple of very, very special software developers who are here today that we do employ at the Linux Foundation.、Uh, people like、uh, Greg Crow Hartman、uh, and this other guy who's going to be on stage next. Um, but what we do is all the things that are needed to facilitate software development, holding events like this, promoting the software development effort so more developers come in, maintaining the technology development infrastructure, training people on how to use the technology so that we can get faster time to benefit and more impact, and much, much more legal assistance and other things. Today at the Linux Foundation, we don't just support 
open source projects, although that's the majority of our business, today we're doing collaboration across a spectrum of innovation from open standards like the open chain specification and SPDX software bill of materials specification, uh, which are being adopted to help us improve the way software is managed and improve our collective cybersecurity, to open hardware initiatives like RISC-V, which is the fastest growing semi semiconductor instruction set in the world, to data sharing networks. We have a project called Overture Maps. This is a very large geospatial mapping data initiative to allow uh, organizations like Amazon, Microsoft, TomTom, Meta to make better mapping experience, better augmented reality experience by sharing mapping data collectively normalizing it, and then applying artificial intelligence to improve it. I predict you'll see a lot more data sharing efforts at the Linux Foundation in 2024 as people start to understand that in order to take advantage of artificial intelligence technology and large language models, it's very important to understand how to procure and track what data is being used in those models so that everyone is clear and can trust that technology. The Linux Foundation focuses on a small set of open source and standards. There are probably, I can't remember the latest count, 90 million uh, open source projects on GitHub. It's some crazy number. At the Linux Foundation, we have about 1,000 uh, projects, however, they really are the most important projects in the world. The way we decide what we work on is we ask three questions. Does this effort move the needle on industry and society? Will this software development effort, will this standard have impact? The second question we ask is, do you need a neutral home to collaborate? Does more than one person and organization need to come together? Then we are a good neutral facilitator. And then finally we ask, can we raise the resources to support this community effectively? And when that all comes together, we get this kind of an outcome. We get great projects like Linux, Node.js, Kubernetes that are used in amazing products, Azure, Amazon Cloud Services, Fujitsu's Cloud Services and so forth. Those companies make money, and they employ developers who contribute back to the open source project with bug fixes, performance improvements. So better projects, better products, more profits, more investment back in the project, and it's a virtuous cycle. And that is why open source is so insanely successful. And this is all of the things that you need to do around the software development effort to make sure that the product, a project, product, profit, that that cycle can happen. Developer relations, intellectual property management, technical documentation, developer experience, these are the things that are very important. To give you an idea of how effective this form of development is, I looked at all the projects across the Linux Foundation and all of the developers who work in those communities every day. So the Linux Foundation on any day has an average of about 600,000 contributors. And I took the average software engineering salary globally uh, this is from Nigeria, which is on the low end, to the United States, which is the highest, and the average salary for software development around the world is about $43,000. And so if you multiply the number of developers by the average salary of a software developer, it is a $26 billion number. So last year, Microsoft, in their uh, SEC filings, in their public reports, 
uh, stated that they spend about $22 billion, Microsoft being the largest software company in the world. So if you look at our number, technically, the Linux Foundation is really one of the largest software companies in the world with an incredibly large amount of people working every day. So all of that comes together in order to produce impact. And that is ultimately what we measure our value on. And I want to just give you a few examples. I won't, I won't read all of these, but the impact of Linux Foundation projects has been tremendous. The Linux kernel continues to be the single most important software development effort in the world. It continues to grow in market share. It continues to adopt, adapt into new forms of computing. It continues to add tremendous value. The collective development that goes on in Linux cannot be understated. When uh, a mobile device manufacturer uh, helps improve battery life in a mobile Android phone and then upstreams that code to help improve the overall performance to power ratio of the kernel, every data center in the world uses less power and cooling. It is the single best example of a non-zero sum benefit in the world. But we also have an amazing uh, set of other efforts that we do at the Linux Foundation, whether it's open standards or education and training. Last year, the Linux Foundation trained, uh, we, we hit a milestone of having trained three million developers on open source related technology. We have impact in vertical industries in networking and telecommunications. The uh, ONAP project, the Open Network uh, Automation Platform, is used to run production networks by mobile operators who connect billions of people all over the world. Our 5G Super Blueprint project is defining the future of wireless telecommunications and leveraging open source to accelerate it. In cloud computing, Kubernetes needs no introductions. It is an amazing effort that has redefined how developers create, deploy, and maintain cloud applications. And in the newest trend, AI and data, the Linux Foundation is home to projects like PyTorch. PyTorch is how you actually build large language models and ML models, and it is a fundamental building block for artificial intelligence. One of my favorite recent stories about PyTorch is the fact that uh, we had an event in San Francisco, and we only had room for 600 people. Uh, and so many people wanted to come to the PyTorch event, they were selling tickets on Stack Overflow uh, to each other, <laughs> scalping tickets. I've never seen a Linux Foundation event tickets being scalped online. But we work, again, across the energy sector with grid operators who are using open source software to improve the performance of energy distribution. In financial services, we're working with central banks around the world to do proof of concepts and pilots on central bank digital currency efforts uh, and other blockchain initiatives. And then finally, and I think this is one of the more interesting things we do, we also have a personal impact on people. Every time I come to a Linux Foundation event, at some point someone will run up to me and say, Jim, Jim, I just want to thank you. The Linux Foundation really changed my life. You offered me a scholarship to come to an event. I met my new employer, and I got a job because the chance that the Linux Foundation gave me to attend these events. Or I meet a developer who says, you know, I participated in a kernel mentoring program. And as a result of that mentoring program, I got a life-changing job at a company I love to work for. And all of us at the Foundation are so proud of that work. So in the last few minutes, I want to tell you the secret of the Linux Foundation. And this is the most important thing for you all to remember, because all of you are either developers or you work with developers. And remember, at the Linux Foundation, we have to work with over 600,000 developers every day, 
to achieve impact, and almost all of them do not work for us. We have to lead through influence. And so the secret to the Linux Foundation are these three words. If you want to learn how to work with engineers, developers, to get things done, you have to be helpful. You have to genuinely do things that make the job of software developers easier. Improve how they write documentation, build better infrastructure, provide them with help when they need it. Uh, you need to be optimistic, hopeful. If you're hopeful, then when an open source developer might get angry or this may surprise you, sometimes open source developers can be very critical. <laughs> but if you're hopeful, uh, it doesn't get you down. You keep focusing on impact, not on that thing you're doing just that day. But the number one secret for working with developers to getting good technology outcomes is humility. To be able to not lead through edict, not lead through command, but lead from behind, through influence, through working collaboratively to solve big problems. And if you can have these three qualities, if you can be helpful, hopeful, and humble, you can achieve amazing success, even with people who don't work with you, which in 2023 is the pinnacle of achievement, working collectively to achieve impact. And so that, in retrospect, in 2023, is how, why we do things and how we do things at the Linux Foundation. And I look forward to continuing working with all of you for years to come. Thank you.